So um, Guinness Nitro Surge comes in a little box like this when you first get it. First step, very important, we make sure this glass is absolutely clean. Even if it's already been washed. So a bit of furry in there. One of these is always good. Washing it out, really boiling hot water. Nice and clean. Inside, you have two bits. You've got this cap that goes over the can. Comes with a little creamer end. And then a little bit to clean it with. It's like a little brush. So always rinse this out, this little cap. Uh, before you use it, you basically attach like that and you can clean it with a brush. Okay, so that's nicely rinsed out and it's ready to go on the can. So here's the Nitro Surge can, more expensive, doesn't have a widget in. It's literally just the Guinness inside. All right, so we've got a nice clean glass. Um, so obviously the Guinness can should be stored in the fridge, not really moved or shaken in any way. So they really need to just sit completely upright overnight. So we're, we're ready to go ahead and start pouring this. So we open the can and we get our Nitro Surge cap, put that over the top. You see there's a lock an unlock symbol on the actual nozzle. So we want to turn that to lock. Um, and then when we're ready, turn on the bottom at the back. The top will then light up. You can see that. And then tilt the glass, make sure there's no water in there. It can be wet, if that's fine. And then we go tilt away. And every once in a while you'll hear a hissing noise and that's the ultrasonic waves activating the nitrogen and we keep pouring keep pouring like this and then we reach the top of the harp where the head is and we let that settle and I think it's around 115 seconds, I think Guinness say, that you should wait. But that's looking very nice already, you see. That's looking great. It's nearly done, nearly there. You see, if you don't have a clean glass, you're not gonna get any shtick at all, really. And it's just gonna fall down and cake off. Even if it's been put in the dishwasher, it still needs to be super clean glass, you know? All right, so that kind of looks like we're there now. And uh, what then we do is just tilt completely all the way over. We don't need to tilt it. And slowly get our lovely dome there. <clears throat> I've got a couple of air bubbles in there. That's they'll disappear. Wait that for that to settle. I'll move the camera so you can see. So you can just see the the dome there you can get. And that's not a bad point. And we can give this a try. You must always clean this after every time, just rinse it. If you think about pubs in general, the biggest problem they have is keeping the lines clean. And if you think on a night surge can, 
cap, you've literally got to line that size. It's really easy to clean. And that's what gives you that twang taste normally. <sighs> Very good. Oh yeah. Very creamy. Good to stick there and see. That's my favorite glass as well. Proper old school tulip. You can tell that because of the, you see the text is slightly wider than the standard glasses. Actually, I've got one. <coughs> so that would be your standard tulip glass. Uh, can you see the text? There's different sizes. And if you're ever curious to find out how old a glass is, if you look on the, the side, of most pint glasses that you get in a pub. And they'll actually say, this one says M14, so 2014. <sighs> so after that one, I'll be reviewing the physics machine, which I have here. And it doesn't come like this. This is just a vinyl wrap I've got, a Guinness one, and an old school bar tap on the top. So that review is coming next. Sláinte.